Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my January empties. I used up a decent amount of stuff in January. I don't usually do monthly empties, but it is something that I'm going to try out this year. Obviously we're a good bit into February, but I will only be including the stuff that I have used up in January. I've already used up quite a few things in February, but we're not going to be talking about those quite yet. Um, yeah, I've just decided that I'm going to try to do monthly favorites and see how, or I just decided I'm going to try to do monthly empties and see how that works out for me. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I don't have a lot of makeup. I actually don't think I have any makeup empties this month. I'm still like on the tail end of a lot of makeup, um, but didn't use up any in January. I have a lot of like body and hair care stuff and some home stuff. Um, I've actually been recording my empties in my bullet journal, um, mostly so that I can do like a year update at the very end of 2018 and talk about what I used up and like the total monetary amount. I won't be talking about the monetary amount in each monthly video, but if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below and I could add that in. But for right now, we're just going to talk about the empties. So the first empty I have is a candle. This is the Tis This Season candle from Bath & Body Works. This used to be one of my all-time favorite scents, but actually I feel like this time it burned really weird and I just didn't love the scent anymore. I don't know what it is. I liked the wallflower. I bought that this year. That was okay. This one just, it didn't smell right when I was burning and I just don't think I love it as much as I used to, which is sad. So basically I would not repurchase this. Next up for home, we have a hand soap. This is the foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This is the afternoon apple picking scent. I really liked this and I would definitely consider picking this up again. I really love the scent of apples and this was just really fresh and nice in the bathroom. So yes, would repurchase. Next up, we'll do kind of like the weirder stuff. First, we have my Secret Outlast Clear Gel Deodorant in Completely Clean. I actually thought that I used unscented deodorant, but I didn't realize that this is a scent and I actually prefer this to unscented deodorant. Um, I definitely would repurchase this. And then I have the last two of my little Sensodyne minis. I actually bought whitening toothpaste right after I finished these. I've been using up all of my like hoarding collection stockpile of these and it was insane how quickly my teeth got sensitive again. So I think I will need to be repurchasing these and using both like one in the morning one at night because just using whitening toothpaste is killing my teeth. So yeah I need to repurchase these. <laughs> Next up we have a little skincare, first being the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I have used this in the past. I used a huge jug of it in the past actually, and I do really like this. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it anytime soon because I have quite a few moisturizers to get through, but it was nice and I have enjoyed using it in the past and that hasn't changed. Next up we have a little deluxe size sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster Serum, and I liked this. I don't think it really made much of a difference to be honest. I like serums to, if I'm gonna, you know, take the extra step, I want to be able to tell that, you know, it's doing something. I just didn't really feel like this did much for me, so I definitely would not purchase the full size, especially because it is quite pricey. Next up, we have a little perfume sample. This is the Tory Burch Jolie Floor Rose. I didn't love this. It was super floral and really not my taste, so I do not think I would ever purchase the full size of this. Next up, I have two empties that I'm actually really, really excited about. The first being the Tony Moly Panda's Dream White Hand Cream. I've had this for way too long and it's definitely was going bad, but I really like this. I have like a little deluxe sample of it that I'm using now. I'm obsessed with pandas, so the packaging is everything, but the actual hand cream is also really, really great and I definitely need this back into my life when I use up all my other hand creams because I love this. Next up is a little bit of a sneak peek of my Project Pan. Um, it's not makeup, but it is one of the things that I did want to focus on and that is my Victoria's Secrets Sheer Love Lotion. If you've seen my 2018 Project Pan video, I said that I wanted to really like use up all my lotions because I have a stockpile, but I never use lotion. So I've actually started implementing using lotion nightly to every other night and I am like using it up like a mad woman. So this is so exciting for me to have used this up and um, you'll probably see this again in the project pan update at the end of February but I'm so excited. Last up we have my hair care empties. The first being this oh 
Blifica Intensive Hair Serum. This I feel like I was using wrong and I didn't start using correctly like in wet hair um, until toward the end of this and I did kind of like it way like I liked it way more toward the end of it but um this isn't something I would buy I don't even know where I would buy this brand and I have so many hair serums that I definitely don't even need to think about repurchasing one next up I have my Bumble and Bumble Prep Primer Spray this is like a lightweight pre-styler this is I have been using in replacement of my It's a 10. I have a ton of hair stuff like this that I'm just trying to use up before I let myself repurchase the It's a 10. This was okay. I didn't blow me away by any means and I definitely don't think I would purchase it again, but um, it was good for my fine hair. It didn't weigh my hair down. I just don't feel like it did much at all. Next up we have the Rusk Texture Dry Finishing Spray in Medium Hold. This I just used like a hairspray. It was okay. It was it wasn't crunchy and it kept my hair pretty much in place. It like held on the flyaways which I liked but I don't even know yet again where I would purchase this so I don't really think I need it. My favorite hairspray of all time is the L'Oreal Elnet and that is what I'm using right now and I've missed it so much so yeah I don't need this. <laughs> And finally, we have Batiste Dry Shampoo. It's like, has to be in every one of these empties videos. But yes, this is the light and breezy fresh scent. I do actually really enjoy this and I would consider repurchasing and I would consider purchasing this scent again. So yeah, love this stuff. Always love it. So yeah, those are all of my empties for January. It wasn't like a super successful empties month, I gotta admit, but I think February is gonna be better because I've already used up quite a few things and we're like barely through the month at all. So that's great. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I will see you guys again really soon.